25 very good products that are $20 or under at Sephora. I was surprised that I actually had most of these already and then a couple of them that I found and I was really excited about. So we're going to do this. We're going to do it fairly quickly because at 25 products, this could take a while. So let's dive into the products right now. Hello, my dear friends. I am so glad that you're with me today because we are going to have a lot of fun. I'm not going to take any more time on the intro. My shirt, I will give you a little picture right here really quickly. My necklace and my earrings and my fingernail polish will all be linked in the description box, as will every single product that is in this video, along with numbers right beside them. I saw Shay Whitney do this on her channel where she numbered on, on the screen the things that she was talking about. So so instead of having to go through and write down what I'm talking about, I will number them and then you can just jot down the number, remember that and go over and you can shop easier in the links instead of having to write down the whole description. I hope that's helpful. Let me know if it is. Let's start out with something that is new, relatively new, but so good. I am so impressed with the brand new, The Ordinaries, the Sulfate 4% Cleanser for Body and Hair. And then we have the cleanser which i will murder the name unless i put my glasses on so and i'll murder it anyway be okay behen trimonium chloride two percent lightweight conditioning formula so why i'm so excited about these is because the ordinary doesn't do anything halfway if they're going to bring out a hair care line they're going to bring out something super effective with ingredients that have been proven and that are really good for your hair so i have tried these at least a half a dozen times and i'm so impressed by the way these don't have a fragrance to them they try to keep everything absolutely fragrance free so the sulfate four percent cleanser when i first used it i was a little bit confused so you put it in your hair and my hair the first time that i tried it was really dirty so i put it in my hair it didn't foam up at all and i thought well okay maybe this is like that other cleansing cream but then i thought you know i'm gonna rinse this out and do it again and it foamed up a little bit but wow my hair came so clean that it was unbelievable and it is so gentle it was really really gentle on your scalp i don't have dandruff but my scalp itches since i got into menopause and since i started using this it has stopped itching so i'm really pleased with that and then super duper wonderful cream or cream conditioner that they have come out with i feel like my hair is super soft and clean and just really have been loving them and they're not that expensive either the next product that i have for your hair is also a new one from the inky list and i better get my glasses again it says hair thickening serum best for fine hair this is awesome i love that it is under that 20 dollar mark it's even cheaper than you would think and you use a very small amount of this it's very water like um and i put it in the palm of my hands rub my hands together and then it just goes into your hair and it builds volume you can use this wet or you can use it dry. I usually use it uh, wet before I start to blow dry my hair. What it does is it helps expand the diameter of the hair without being harmful to the hair. And so this has been really fun. I'm excited about that one. Let's talk something random. This is a random product that I found from the Sephora collection. Sephora collection is a really, really good line. I think it's very overlooked by people that love high end because they feel like it's maybe cheap. There are a few hit and miss things there, but I am here to tell you there's some great ones. And I do have a whole video where I did a get ready with me just with Sephora products, which I will link for you. This is the daily cleanse or daily clean refresh daily brush cleaner. This is awesome. So there is no water involved in this. It is a spray product that you take and you spray on. Well, first of all, let me show you how dirty my brush is. I put it down into red. I tried to shove it down in there really good so that it would be really dirty because it was already dirty to begin with. So you take the brush cleaner and you spray it onto your rag first, and then you go onto it with the brush and you clean your brush that way. Look at all the stuff that's coming off of there. Isn't that awesome? So you can do this once, like look, that brush came so, so clean, or you can spray it again and you can get it even cleaner. So here is how much I got off of the brush. 
cleaning it just a little bit more. Look how clean that brush is. Isn't that great? I really like this and I liked it so much that I went and I bought the travel size that I can have in my makeup kit or in my purse and I can refill it with this one. This is awesome. Speaking of brushes, I want to show you this fun brush that I picked up from Rare Beauty. This is Rare Beauty's version of a concealer brush, which I think is great. What I like about it is it's a little bit more squatty and it, it has that deep angle to it, but it's not as wide as those other ones. So you can get very precision if you need to, wherever you need to be. If you only need to have a little bit of concealer down here, it's not going to spread out. And then it's soft enough that it will still buff everything out. I mostly use this one for my color corrector and my primer, my eyelid primer. So I love it. It's it's been working great for me. It washes up like a dream. It's a really great brush and at a really great price point too. Many of you have seen my tutorials before and another tool type thing that I employ in almost all of my eyeshadow tutorials is the Sephora makeup tape. This makes it so easy to make that crisp line for you to be able to do a wing if you have shaky hands like I do or if you just want it to be really crisp right there on that line. Whatever you want to make a line with your makeup this will do it so it's very easy to tear it tears off like that i kind of have rigged mine so it's a dispenser type thing it doesn't come like that but i taped it back so that it worked like that so the tape comes off of the back very easily and it just will lay down anywhere you put it. And what's beautiful for me, let me just demonstrate with this brush we just cleaned. So this is a Tarte palette that I've had for a long time. Let's just use this really bright, bright pink color right here. We will make a mess. We'll get on top of the tape a whole bunch. But when you peel off the tape, you have a perfect crisp line because underneath there, nothing has gotten underneath there. It's just beautiful. All right, let's just keep going with the tools. That is the, this fun little tool. I ran across this tool totally by random in a sale one time. It's from Beauty Blender and it's one of their puffs. I ran across it and I was like, that looks pretty darn cool because it has a pocket where you can put your fingers. If you just wanna have one finger up in there, you can do one finger. But when I got this and I started using it to just kind of blend out any of my makeup, you can use it on foundation. Concealer, you can use it with powder. If you wanna spray it and then put your um, setting spray on, you can do that. It's perfect for picking up any excess oil or any creasing that you might get through the day. This is such a fun little tool. And I have had this for over a year and this is how it washes up. I washed it up really nice for today, but I just barely got it kind of dirty there with my makeup. I think this is an absolutely genius tool. I have three now, one that I keep in my makeup kit, one that I keep in my purse, and one that I keep in my car. I love this. It has been wonderful for me. I have found some wonderful under $20 makeup items at Sephora, one of them being the Sephora Collection lip products. I think that they are so, so good. Now, I'm not going to be able to see all of these, so these are the Rouge Shine lip glosses, and they're very balm-like. They're a lot like the L'Oreal balms that they have out, but I like these a little bit better because they have a little bit more pigment to it. I will make sure that up on the screen goes the name of these because like I said, you I can't read that to save my life even with my readers on. So I'll make sure that that goes up, but I love both of these colors. These are so rich and they feel so yummy on your lips. And I just fell in love with them the minute that I got them. And I can't wait for the sale this time because I'm putting in an order for more of these. I think that they're fantastic. And then, of course, you all know that have been with me any amount of time that I love the Gel Rouge liners. These are an automatic liner and they have, I think, something like 30 or 40 different colors and they're very gel-like. So it's a softer formula almost to a, the point of a cream lipstick. So this first one right here is called Bellflower. That is kind of a lilac, muted lilac color, almost purple color that I love to wear as a liner. The next one is called The Nudist, and it is my perfect nude because it has 
a very light tone to it, not too warm and not too cool. And then the next one is called Rum Raisin. This is one of my favorite colors when I want to do a beautiful, rosy, deeper color. And then the last one is probably my favorite for any time you want to do a contour where you really want to up paint that pout a little bit bigger. This one is called Sink or Suede, and it is probably of all of them, the two on the end, Bellflower and Sink or Suede, are my very favorites and most worn, most repurchased ones as well. These are a really high quality product that I have been talking about for probably the length of my channel, which coming up on six years, you guys. So yeah, love these so much. Again, with the Sephora collection are the Outrageous Plumping Shine Lip Glosses. This one is in sparkling pink, and I don't remember what this one is because I just got this not too long ago. Let me just show you what it has. It has this beautiful iridescence to it. It really is a pretty, pretty color to it. And then the other one, I got it because we were coming on into spring, and I really wanted to have more of a coral color in my collection, but one that I could manipulate and glosses are easy for me to manipulate. So I love having that coral. It is a little bit brighter than what I would normally wear, but I think mixed with any of my pink liners, it's gonna be gorgeous. These last a long time. They do have that very cooling effect, but I always feel like my pout is bigger and I just love the shine and the lasting power on these. They're so good. And then right at the $20 mark, are the um, Rare Beauty Liquid Blushes. I love these. I think they're called In a Pinch or Pinched Blushes or something like that. Of course, it will go up on the screen for you guys. This one is Believe. I love these colors. These are right up my alley. What I also like about these, the, them being liquid, is that you can work with these, but this color is not going to be one that you need very much of. So at $20, that's gonna be around a long time. So we have Believe and then Encourage. And I just think these are so beautiful. So here I am just kind of blending them out, buffing them out, and they are so pretty and they are so easy to work with. And they don't go anywhere during the day. So once you put them on, you buff them into your cheeks, you have them on and they are there. They just do so good. Now, speaking of cream blush are also the LYS blush blushes. And I just saw, I think it was on Trend Mood, maybe it was this morning, that there's some new colors of this coming out. And I'm going to be getting another color of this because I do really love this. But this one is called Self Love. And again, these are just a satin matte cream blush. And this one is highly pigmented as well. And I, it's pretty darn close to these other colors, except for it might have a bit more pink in it. I really love the formula of this. If you like a cream over a liquid, you might like this one a lot better because I do feel like if you're going to do the liquid, you almost need to do it with a puff or a sponge or a brush. Whereas this cream one, you could just, you know, put it on with your fingers and not have a problem with it. I like the packaging on these two where they're the triangle. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit more fun. It does have a nice little mirror in there. So if you wanted to throw it in your purse as well, really great product. So another product from LYS is the Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. My color is LN6. It could have been a, like one color lighter, although it matches my skin perfectly. Just to give a little bit of brightening, I might have gone just one shade lighter. When I first got it, I was like, this is very comparable to the Kosas Concealer. Only this is a little bit thinner than the Kosas. So if you're somebody that feels like the Kosas was too thick for you, which that's a serum concealer anyway, but this is very, very thin. A little tiny bit goes a long way and it covers like a dream. And because it's so thin, it doesn't crease at all. It doesn't settle into my fine lines. You have to set it down. Let's be real. Whenever we put on any sort of concealer, any, and we're smiling or we're talking or moving our face around, we have to set it because there's gonna be some creasing. But this is my new second favorite next to Kosas because it's just so effortless. I really am happy with this. This is gonna be one that I will absolutely repurchase. And LYS so far has impressed me. This is kind of a preparatory makeup item. And this one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyeshadow Primer. I don't need to say a lot about this. This is the mini tube that you can only 
only buy it in a mini size. I have had this tube for probably well over a year and it's still very full because such a tiny amount does you so well. Makes your eyeshadow pop. You get all of your veining, discoloration, all of that. It will cover that up. Now it is a little bit whiter. So if you are somebody that doesn't like to have that whitish look, then you probably won't like this, but it works perfectly for me because it brightens up my eyeshadow, makes it last all day long, keeps it on all day long without any creasing. I will say that if you get too much of this product itself on, it will crease. So put it on, really buff it out well, and just dust it real light with some translucent powder or go into your shadow immediately. But it's such a good eyeshadow primer and I have talked about that until people are like, we're sick of hearing about it. The next product is from Item Beauty and it is the Lash Snack Lengthening Mascara. This mascara stole my heart for one reason and one reason only. Look at that teeny tiny brush. Now, because of my shaking hands, I have a hard time manipulating big brushes. If it's a big brush, when I pull it out of the tube, I'm gonna go, nope, can't do it. Because honestly, I just shake so badly that I'm gonna, it, every single time, I'm gonna make a mess. It's gonna get poked on the inner nose or it's gonna get poked up there in the eye. Something's gonna happen. So I love having a smaller brush, but the actual product itself is a great mascara. It doesn't flake or smudge. I will, you know, I won't say that it absolutely doesn't flake. I live in the desert. I live in where it's very, very dry. Turn the heat on in the winter, it's gonna get triple dry. And you know, 12 to 14 hours into wearing my makeup, I'm gonna get some flaking. Doesn't matter which one I wear unless it's an absolute budge proof, waterproof one, but this is fantastic for no smudging. Really does give me a nice volume and a really nice length on my eyelashes, so I've been really impressed with that one. Speaking of mascara, I wanna to talk to you about getting mini-sized mascaras. I do this because I need to try a lot of mascaras to weed out the good and the bad. And so buying a full mascara, especially when you're supposed to change out your mascara every three months for your eye health so you don't get infections, it just would bother me that I felt like half of the big tube was going to waste. This one is from Rare Beauty. I have an Ilia one. I have one, oh, there's two Ilia ones, the one they just came out with. I have two Milk Makeup ones. I have the Tarte Maneater one, and I have the Bite Beauty one. And out of all of these, probably my favorite are, I love both of the Milk Makeup ones, no fledging, no fledging no smudging, no flaking, and they're really good. And I really like this new one. As a matter of fact, I have the new one on this eye today. But like Anastasi Beverly Hills, Charlotte Tilbury, Huda Beauty, they all have mini ones. And a lot of the makeup comes in mini sizes. So if you feel like, well, I don't know if I'll go through all of that, get it in the mini. Yes, I know it's not quite as cost effective, but unless it's something like foundation where you know that you're gonna completely go through the whole jar, this is the way to go for me. I have another balm in this lineup and this one is from fresh and it is their sugar hydrating lip balm it has they have different flavors of it this is a limited edition mango one and oh my goodness this smells amazing and it is so nourishing on lips i can't believe how lovely it is i was going to get the watermelon one until i saw this one and i was like well i'll go ahead and i'll get this one and it feels so good. This is a thinner formula that you might wear, um, not necessarily to bed because I don't think it would last that long, but it's so good for just like everyday use and using it just as a lip balm and it smells divine. I can't wait to get the watermelon one. I think they're really good. And then also, these are the Sephora single colors. Now it's not the eye colors, these are the cheek colors. And you've heard me talk a lot about this one that is their contour color, and this is in Second Chance. And the powders themselves are really soft, and they're very, very blendable, but what's beautiful about Second Chance is it is a very muddy 
grayish brownish toned color that gives you a contour instead of like the bronzer color so when you want to contour something you're wanting it to recede and then the bronzer is something that would warm up your face you'll be able to see this when i get it on here that it's pretty darn muddy looking makes a beautiful eyeshadow as well but it is the perfect contour the first one of these that i had i had for probably three years the pot lasts forever and i just I love this. It is the perfect contour for anybody that has been struggling with not knowing what colors to use as contour because it always looks weird. So that is wonderful. And then this one right here, I picked up quite recently. I picked it up because I really want to get my hands on that really pretty cool tone pink one from Dior that is a blush. And I thought that this one might be really close to this one. It's a little bit light. I will say that if you are somebody that has any sort of a skin tone that is beyond medium, there's probably no way you can wear this be beautiful. Again, it would be a very beautiful color that would be for the eyes but this is definitely a very very light product i don't know if it would even be close to the one that, that is like dior i like it i use it you know when i'm doing a very cool toned look i like it a lot the powders themselves are exceptional they blend like a dream so you could use that maybe on top of another blush to deepen it up if you wanted to and any of the colors that are in that lineup are very very pretty colors and like i said the formula is great so i have a couple of them if you wanted to pick up some of the other ones i'm sure they'd be just as good this product surprised me i didn't even know about this product i'd never heard about this product but as i was researching this video and looking for things that were under 20 dollars on sephora i found this and where has it been smith's rosebud salve and it can be used all over the place now do any of you know what bag balm is? I was raised by a cowboy and yes, we used bag balm in our house for wounds because it has an anti it has an antibacterial in it and it just works really good at healing wounds on animals or people both. That's kind of what this salve is like. But you can use this as a lip gloss. You can see that it's kind of shiny in the pan right there. You can use it as a lip gloss, which is what I've been doing. But you know what else I've been doing? I've been using this on my cuticles. And it's made my cuticles so soft and without any hangnails or anything. Beautiful balm on your lips. And you can put it on burns too. And I did that the other day. I got a burn right here on my neck from my curling iron. I just took some, put it on there. And by the next morning, it didn't burn anymore. So I'm really impressed by this. I think it's a great salve and I think that it's something that I will continue to purchase. I do wish that I had purchased it in the strawberry because strawberry is my favorite one. So this is a great one and I think that it's one that you will like as well. And then at the $20 price point, your girl's a little bit nuts, but I love Sol de Janeiro and I love these little fragrances that you can get. And they're each $20, but it doesn't matter which one you get, although I have my favorites, they're all so good. The 62, I believe, is the original. And that one is the Pistachio and Salted Caramel. And you can spray this anywhere. You can spray it in your hair. It's actually meant for your hair too. And I love this fragrance. I use their body wash and their cream. I just, I could like somebody just fill up a tub with all of their products and just lay me in it and I could do that. I love this stuff. And then this one is the number 39. This is the coconut cream and toasted praline. This one, they all smell divine. Who am I kidding? I love this one. My husband has, this is his favorite one. And then number 71 is caramelized vanilla with macadamia. They're just all, they're very sweet. So if you don't like sweet fragrances, do not pick these up. They're not fruity, they just are sweet. This is their newest one. This is the Sol de Janeiro and Anita. This one has passion fruit nectar and pink patchouli in it. This one is so yummy. When I first got this one, I was like, oh my goodness, they've got to make this into a cream. And I hope that they do. It's really a good one. This one is the Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods. This is probably my least favorite, but I still 
honestly, I, shoot, just, yeah, just bathe me in this stuff. It's just so, so good. All right, let's do a little skincare. This is one of the best waterproof makeup removers ever. Now you can see how it's separated right there. You've got oil to here and then the cleanser product to here. You just shake it up. I always just shake it into my hand and rub my hand together and then start taking off all my makeup. It will take off the most stubborn waterproof eye mascara or makeup that I own. I love it. It was forever my ride or die until the Good Molecules Cleansing Balm came along, but I feel like the two are so close in what they do. I love the cleansing balm. I will continue to buy it, but this baby's gonna be in my skincare bag no matter what. And it's slick. It just takes makeup off without worrying about it. It just comes right off. It's great. And then another skincare item that I can't be without, this one is probably my 80th bottle. <laughs> Not that bad, but pretty darn close. The Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. This makes my skin so soft. I use this probably four to five times a week in the, in the morning, and it just really helps to slough off the dead skin. It makes your skin really soft because you're getting fresh, clean, new skin out. For me, my aging skin, how it's super dry, this just works so good, and I I won't be without it no matter what. And then another product, this product I've been talking about for a couple of months now, again from the Inky List, Tranexamic Acid Night Treatment. This says helps reduce hyperpigmentation. And I have been using this on my chest and on the back of my hands. That's where most of my hyperpigmentation is. I have been faithful about making sure that I got all of my skincare up here, but I've been noticing that I've been having a really hard time really getting this chest area or my decollete area to be clear. I've had to use a lot of makeup on it so that it looked like there it was even and that bugs me. But tranexamic acid is supposed to be one of those products that actually will inhibit melanin. Melanin is what the color is, the dark color that comes through in age spots or sun damage. And this is an inhibitor. I feel like it's doing gangbusters on the back of my hands. My hands have cleaned up so much. I'm still going through this area right here and still working with it, but I do feel like they're starting to fade a lot. There are a lot of products out there that will lighten and brighten, but tranexamic acid is the one that has been proven to block melanin. This has really been a great product for me and I will continue to use it and continue to report back to you on it. Now, one of the products that I've been using for a couple of years now is this from The Ordinary and it is a vitamin C formula. It is the ethylated ascorbic acid 15% solution. This vitamin C for me is super duper effective and super gentle. When I use regular ascorbic acid on my skin in other forms, especially since I've gotten into menopause, it just has really irritated them and made them feel horrible. So I was so pleased to find this. One, I have noticed such a huge difference in my fine lines and around my mouth. It's just been so good. And then also I have really bad dry sagging skin from losing the weight that I lost right here on my chin. Not on my chin, the waddle. You know what I'm talking about, this stuff right here. So it's been really hard for me to keep that moisturized and it's been hard for me to keep that tightened as I've lost the weight. So I do have a lot of loose skin there, but I do feel like using the retinoid and the, this ascorbic acid really works well together. I love both of them. Another skincare product that I'm so glad that I got sent this. This I got in a PR package, but I it's almost gone and I'm ready to repurchase. As a matter of fact, I do have another one coming to me in another fragrance. This is from Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe, Adaptogens, and Coconut Water. So if you're somebody that is allergic to coconut, again, please be careful. This does have coconut water in it, but they have several others that don't. In the morning, after I cleanse everything, I want my skin to be plumped with water. So I was for a long time just using a spray bottle and just you know going across my skin with this spray bottle and letting the water just sit there for a few minutes while it plumped everything up and then putting all the serums and everything on. It's a great way to prep your skin. This is the way my friend Sherry always says it. She always says if you have a dry sponge and you put some cream on top of it, it's not going to plump that sponge up, but you put water on it and that sponge is going to plump up and then you could lock it in with your moisture. So that was her theory. 
I love that analogy. So that's what I am doing now with these sprays. And they're not very expensive. I feel like this is well worth the money and I just spray, 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 and it just is very refreshing. I actually will spray Bill's face with this. He loves it. This for me has been really great and I've really been loving it. So I think that is just about all of it, you guys. I think that was the last products. I hope that you did enjoy this. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think about these speed reviews, these things that I can show you that are at places like Sephora and Ulta, where we don't think we can shop because it's just too dang expensive. But you look at some of these and you're going, these are excellent products and they're not going to kill my pocketbook. So I hope that you did enjoy it and I hope that you're doing well. Come around again really soon in my next video. I can't wait to see you again right here. I love you very much and I'll talk to you very, very soon, my friends. Take care. Bye-bye.